Hey everyone, so I've moved my printer to a new location and I'm still getting things set up kind of how I want it. However, when I went to plug my printer into my Raspberry Pi in order to get OctoPrint up and running, I found out that the Pi was not able to connect to the printer. It wasn't even detecting that the USB was plugged in. So I went to do a little bit of diagnostics and I grabbed a USB cable so it's plugged into the Mega down here. So if I take this USB cable and I plug it into my computer, we find out that on the computer screen, there we go. So you can see that the USB device is not recognized and that it malfunctioned and that Windows cannot recognize it. And if we go into the, uh, the device manager, we see that this unknown USB device, device descriptor request failed. So something happened with my Arduino Mega and it's not able to actually use its USB port. So underneath all this wiring and the ramps, there's the Arduino Mega. And I've done a little bit of research and I found out that the chip that the Mega uses in order to communicate through USB is actually a very delicate chip. And what I think happened was I ended up, when I moved this thing first time, I plugged everything into my Pi and powered on the Pi before I powered on the actual power supply. And I think that might have done something with the Mega because I'm not able to read through USB at all. And so, because I like using OctoPrint so much and it's so much more convenient than using an SD card, I need to fix that USB. So, what I'm going to do is I've purchased a new Arduino Mega and we will go and we'll replace the Mega that's on my printer with this brand new Arduino Mega. So first I'm going to double check that this USB does indeed work and then I'll go rip out the old Mega and we'll put this replacement in. Shouldn't it be too complicated, but come join me on the ride. So let me plug in the USB and there we go. Looks like my new Arduino connects up to the USB just as I'd expect it. So let's go do the replacement. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do this replacement without having to remove all of the stuff off of the ramps. So the way the printer's set up is you have your Mega and then you have a shield called the ramps that sits on top of it. And that's what controls all of the motors and heaters and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully I can just unscrew it, pull off the ramp shield and do a quick replacement. So let's see if I can actually do that. And there we go. So you can see we have the Arduino back here, and then this is the ramps board. So... There we go. So we see that we just have an Arduino Mega here, and we'll just quickly swap it out with the new one, and hopefully this will fix the USB communication issue we were having. And while we have it off, we might as well do a quick inspection of the ramps itself. See that we have all of the motors and uh, hot ends and end stops all plugged in. And this is just a shield that plugs directly into that Mega. So it's really cool how they've done this. It makes it really easy to switch out something that fails. So if you're, say, Arduino it fails, you can just unplug it and swap in a new one with no problem. You don't have to replace the entire board just because one component failed. I really like that. I realized that before I plugged in the Mega, I should probably flash the firmware. So I've just got it connected and I'm about to upload the version of Marlin that I have and put that on there. So once this finishes, then we can grab this Mega and shove it onto the ramps. And there we go, we're uploading. So let's get that firmware on there and we can put it on the ramps. So now we can take our new Mega that we just flashed Marlin on and let's plug it in. So there we go. We now have the ramps installed on the new Arduino Mega. So now let's bolt this to the printer, turn it on, and see if I broke anything in the process. 
So now it's bolted back onto my printer and I've gone in and I've double checked that all of the wires are where they're supposed to be and that I don't have like a live wire sticking out that's going to electrocute or short anything. So it all seems to be good. So I should just be able to click on the power supply and see this thing come to life. That's a good start. And there we go. We have it up and running. So that means that this is awesome that the Arduino is now replaced and it's running a relatively correct version of Marlin. I hope it's the most up-to-date one that I had. I'll have to go double check all of that, of course. Um, but it seems to be running and the printer actually acknowledges it. So the next step is to grab the USB cable and see if it plugs into my computer. So let's grab the USB cable and plug it into my computer and let's see what is going on. So it's plugged in. We see that, there we go. We have our Arduino Mega. I should be able to then open it up in printer face and connect to COM3 and let's see. I hear my printer move, there we go. Huzzah! So now if I look at my printer and I issue a command. There we go. Perfect. So that was the issue. It was indeed the USB chip on this thing. I think it's this chip right here. That little black one right there. I think that's what handles all the USB serial communication. And I guess plugging the, uh, the Raspberry Pi into the Arduino before turning on the rest of the system, I think that may have shocked that little chip and caused something to happen. So, we've had a successful replacement, so thank you guys for watching. Please like the video if you liked watching me fix my printer, and if you learned anything about, you know, USB serial communication or anything like that. Uh, please like that video and to subscribe for some more awesome stuff coming on the way. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.